Hi everyone. I was headed up to Reno, Nevada to pick up a very special package. But more on that later. Since I was headed up for the weekend, I decided to bring my bike and check out Centennial Park near Carson City. this Centennial Hills trail system south of Reno. Okay. Centennial, a cooperative effort. Recreation access. BLM, Carson City. Very cool. Well, the guy I saw coming up this way turned left here. So I guess that's what I'll do. Wild horse trail. Yeah, it's too tight a turn. Ugh. Every single one of the trails in this park is marked as blue. We'll see. Oh yeah, I'm not riding up there. <laughs> I'd like to try, but with that tight turn right before it. I don't know how possible that is. Nifty little park you got here. The first time I've been on it. So Me too. Really? Yeah. Not, not it looks like a chore. Have a good one. You too. <laughs> you know, I forgot to check my elevation at the start, but I know I'm pretty high up. What am I at? 4,500 feet, I'm guessing. That's a very rough guess, probably wrong. That's Pale Rider, and it looks like a pretty significant climb. But that's not what I'm worried about. I just don't want to be in the way of people. And I think I want to come down that hill. This isn't a huge park, so I think I'm going to have the opportunity to sample a large portion of it today. It certainly is scrabbly, but it's rideable. I haven't even really started climbing yet. I mean, shoot, the car's right there. Well, this is a access road for the power lines. So I'm definitely turning left here. Not sure how far up I'm gonna follow this. Instead of going up that road, I want to go this way. And this will take me up, up, without having to ride that access road that's boring and no fun. This looks like it'd be kind of fun to come down too. Maybe these are those switchbacks that I saw on the map. Or maybe I'm on a completely different trail. I don't know. Well, that's going to be a fun little hike. I doubt I'm going to ride up that. I'm turning left here. So I just came up West Loop from the parking lot. That is West, generally speaking. And I cross the road here, and then I go up this way 
And this is Centennial Loop, where he drops down and hits Centennial Loop down in this valley. And then I'll climb up that canyon or that little dip, I think. And that'll take me to the top, which means I'll get a good climb in. I won't have to do that, which I really kind of don't want to do. I might have to do something just as hard as it, but at least I'll get more single track in, which is kind of what I'm after today. There's some snow on the hill. We starting the climb now? That wasn't much of a downhill. Okay, time for the big up. Wonder how much of it I'll push. Not in any hurry. Nice, low and slow. Cruise to the top. No big deal. This is a good little climb. I'm getting to some sort of a trail crossing here. Big pile of rocks. Oof, tired. Oof, bad traction there. This is gonna be fun. It's not, I'm kidding. Let's see how far I can get. Oh no, this is too steep. There's no way in hell I can. This is 45 degrees. I cannot pedal up that. Would have been fine. Would have been nice to be able to say that I could get up it. Oh well. Nice. Well, that's encouraging. <laughs> Trail goes up this way. Yeah, I might be able to ride up there. Let's give it a shot. There we go. These climbs are, are tough. I won't lie. I walked some of those sections because, well, there's a few punchy little spots in there that are just too steep to climb. Kind yeah, of hard to see the trail. I can see it on the next hill over there though in front of me. So at least I know where to shoot, where to aim the bike. Oops. <laughs> this is a mean trail. Those baby heads, they just want you to die. Fortunately, I was not going very fast. But these loose rocks, they're challenging. It's not stuff I'm used to. A little bit of snow riding here. And that's when things got interesting. So I could just walk around it. All right, back to the dry. Well, that wasn't treacherous. Oh, that's where I came up. I don't know if you can see it, but the pile of rocks that I had passed earlier was right down there. So I had gone up that gulch and then around this hill. This is brutal. Damn. Oh, these steep sections suck. And they are steep. Whew. I went too far. I didn't follow the map and I kept going uphill and I ended up outside the park way above the trail system that I was riding on. Walking the bike through the snow. 
Might not have a choice. Ooh, peanut butter dirt. My bad. Don't have much of a choice, do I? But yeah, this is crazy. This is some crazy, crazy steep. So I'm gonna go down it all careful like. This is really soft. Woo! My butt, I can feel the dirt hitting my butt. <laughs> Damn. There. Can't believe I freaking navigated that. I feel like I should have crashed there. Okay, this is where I want to be. I may not have come down the way I wanted to, but that's okay. Because I am where I want to be now. Single track. <laughs> Ride with caution. Don't take it too slow, you know? Okay, I cut off to the right, which I believe is new dirt for me on this trip. Some tight little switchbacks here. And this bike is not good on switchbacks. Whew. This is nutty. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, I can see why people just go right through the middle of that. This is treacherous. Yeah. Ended up taking the ride around. I didn't even know it. Tight. Bear me. Centennial Park near Carson City, Nevada. Just east of Carson City, Nevada. Pretty cool place. Um, had a great time. Little on the muddy side, but that was only right at the tippy top. So it wasn't that bad. The majority of the trails, and I mean like over 99% of the trails were dry. So it was a pretty easy ride, but it was very technical. A lot of fun. Whew. I felt like I was in danger maybe twice on that trail, but it really wasn't that bad. Either way, God, it felt good to be out on the bike. The 5,500 foot elevation, yeah, I felt that. You know, what are you gonna do? I live at sea level, but great. It was, it's, it's a great place to ride, man. I'm, I, I'm gonna come back if I ever get stuck in Reno again. <laughs> Thanks for riding along with me and I'll see you out there. The morning after my ride, I decided to visit Revision Brewing in Reno. Oh, I like this place. These guys make one of my favorite hazy IPAs. Reno as fuck. Wow, what a delicious brew. Established in 2017, Revision has grown up alongside Reno to become a major California brand that never sold out to the big guys. They regularly make the top five lists for beer lovers all over the state and the nation, 
and their list of awards is impressive. The brewery, located just off Highway 80 in Sparks, boasts a fun beer garden with local art and a lot of fun games to play. It's a great spot to catch a sporting event or to drop in and taste. The beer list is considerable. Revision has a very large IPA selection, hazy and otherwise, and they also feature other styles like blondes, lagers, barrel-aged beers, coming soon, and even a light beer. I'm afraid I have some bad news. Sorry I didn't get any footage of her before she got in the car, but this is Vina. Vina, just one week after we got her home and situated with us, ventured into my parents' backyard and nibbled on some mushrooms. You good girl. She's still a little bit unfamiliar with who I am. No, don't get out. Don't get out. I love you too. Within 24 hours, her liver shut down and she died the next day. Needless to say, we are absolutely heartbroken over her loss. There's Vina and Aspen. Stay. We barely got to know this wonderful pup, and she left us just as we were getting to know each other. Get the ball! Hug your dog. Thanks for watching. Now they're going to duke it out all the way back. See? Vina likes to get in Aspen's face already. Good girl. Good girl.